Hi guys, this is Liz Kinade from Sleek Lens. I have a tutorial today on the brick and mortar workflow and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use this workflow to enhance the detail in your architecture photography and we're going to be doing that by using light, color, and definition to enhance the detail. Um, one of the great things about this workflow is that if you do a lot of traveling or you do just a lot of architecture photography, the tools in here really can help you kind of expand your dynamic range and really kind of bring the detail out of the photograph. So I have a photograph open. We're just going to go ahead and start. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw your attention to an all-in-one preset that we have here. So I'm going to be applying the all-in-one preset backlit no problem. So what's great about this preset is that sometimes when you're dealing with architecture photography or landscape photography even, you get um, the sun in the background and you get a backlit effect, backlit effect and the shadows kind of drown out any of the details. So all I did was apply this all in one and you can already see it's changed the photo quite a bit. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my polish presets and I'm going to apply a polish sharpening preset just to add a little bit more definition. And on top of that, I'm going to go to my brushes and I'm opening my brick and mortar brushes and I'm going to be using the Enhanced Details brush. And I'm going to be using this brush mostly on the structure right here to bring out the contrast and definition that's in the brickwork here and the statues as well. All right, so now that I've applied that brush, I'm going to go ahead and work some of the color details here. So I'm going to hit new. Starting with a new brush, I'm going to be using the brick and mortar polish haze, uh, cool haze brush right here, which as you can see has a kind of blue color. I'm going to turn the saturation up on that a little bit. I'm going to make my brush a little bigger and I'm just going to use this almost like to kind of color in the blue here in the sky. And I'm going to turn the exposure down a little bit because I want it to be a little bit darker. All right, so after I've applied that brush, I'm going to be applying a golden sun brush. So I'm hitting new. Add golden sun. And I'm basically going to apply it all where the sun is kind of shining down onto the pavement here up in here just to kind of add a little bit extra color to it and really kind of bring out this little reflective detail down here. Going back into my brushes I'm going to use one more brush before I finish up this shot and I'm going to go ahead and use the brick and mortar brighten brush. So basically I'm going to use this brush kind of on the structure here just to brighten it up um, and kind of bring the shadows brighter so that you can see more of the detail and what's going on here in the structure. All right, close out of my brushes and here's the before and after. So as you can see, we've brought out the color, the light, and we now have all that detail that's been washed out before in the structure. So this is exactly what we're looking for, the detail in the architecture. All right, I'm going to move on to another photograph now. All right, so I have this nice photograph of Venice, and I'm going to start with a base preset. As I mentioned before, we're looking to expand the dynamic range, and the dynamic range, if you don't know, is the difference between the light and darks in the photograph. So we're going to go down to our base presets. And we're going to be using the base HDR, which, as you can see, has just kind of brought the detail and the color right back into the photograph. I am going to tweak this preset a little bit. It is a one-click edit, but this HDR preset has kind of done a couple things that I don't really love. So I'm going to turn the highlights up a little bit to bring a little bit more light back into the sky. I'm going to turn the vibrance down just a tad. And I've got a little bit of a haze going on here, so I'm going to go into my effects tab and I'm going to dehaze and I'm going to turn that up just a little bit. Alright, great. 
So I'm going to add another preset now. I am going to the Make It Pop preset, which is going to be an, a polish preset, which is going to add a lot of color back into the photograph. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Basics tab. I'm just turning my exposure up a tiny bit. I'm going to go to my brushes now, and we're using the same Add Golden Sun brush. This brush is great if you have a sunset in your photograph. And I'm just using that kind of up here and just expanding down a little bit into the buildings there. All right, the next brush I'm going to use is a water definition brush. And I'm going to use it down here in the water. So as you can see, there's a bunch of little like boats and stuff in the water. If you run your brush over that, it's not going to make a big difference. All right, I'm going to hit new. I'm going to use one last brush now. I'm going to use the brick and mortar enhance brighter. And I'm basically going to use this brush on these buildings here to kind of bring out the light and the detail on them. And I'm going to run it across the sky as well. Just add a little bit more light. All right, so here's the before and after. So same thing we did with the first photograph. We've really enhanced the color. You can now see the details in the buildings. And we've added definition to the water and the sky and the sun. And overall, it's just a much more polished look. And you know, if you were standing here looking at this in person, this is probably more what you would see because you're definitely not going to see this. All right. So I've got one more photograph now. And now I'm going to show you how you can enhance the details of your architecture photography using a black and white preset or basically washing all the color out. Um, because a lot of times we tend to think that black and white isn't going to show detail because there's no color, but it actually does a really good job of showing detail in architecture. So the first thing I am doing is I'm going to use a expanding dynamic range. So in our base presets, we had the HDR base preset, but we also have another one that's called Expanding Dynamic Range, if I can find it. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a base preset, it's an all-in-one preset. So I have an all-in-one preset here called Expanding Dynamic Range. I'm going to apply that. It's going to bring the light and the details back into the photograph. And I'm going to go over here and tweak it a little bit by turning the highlights up a tiny bit. And this one, as I mentioned with the same last photograph, also has a haze. So I'm going to my effects tab and I'm going to turn the dehaze up a little bit. All right, I'm going to apply another preset on top of this. I'm going to be using the all-in-one contrasty black and white. I definitely want the contrast in this because the difference between the light and dark is what's really enhancing the details in the buildings here. But with this preset, there is just a tiny bit too much contrast. So even though it is a one-click edit, you can open your Basics tab here. And I'm going to turn the contrast down just a little bit. And I'm turning the clarity down a tiny bit as well. All right, so now I'm going to move into my brushes. First brush I'm going to use is a water definition brush, like I did on the last photograph. And same thing, just running that along the water to add more contrast and definition here. I'm going to hit new. So right now I'm going into my brighter brush enhance and I'm going to basically do the same thing I did with the last photograph. I'm running it all along the buildings to add more light to them. But I'm going to tweak the brush a little bit by turning the contrast up a little bit as well and the shadows down. So, you know, we have the sunset, we've got that kind of backlit, backlit effect where it's really washing out the details in the building. So we're just going to kind of cheat the system and use this brush to bring light back here. All right. So here's the before and after. So as you can see, the black and white does a really good job of bringing out the details, especially right here in this building. It's really nice. And right up here on these structures. 
So as you can see, there are a lot of really great tools in the brick and mortar workflow that can help you enhance the detail in your architecture photography. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be able to try it out for yourself.